Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the shape tool in Photop. Okay, so let's get going. Down the side here are your shapes, um, usually set to a rectangle, but if you click and drag in there you can see that there's other types of shapes. I'm going to show you how to use the rectangle one first, then I'll have a little look at some of the others. So you click on the rectangle tool, drag it on. Okay, first thing you need to know is that up here you can change some of the um, features of that shape. So you can change the short color by clicking on the fill and you can change the stroke. Stroke means outside border. So I'm going to click on that, give it a bit of a yellow color. Usually set to 4 for some reason, which is quite thin. So I'm going to change it to 20. Press enter and it allows you to set that around your shape. Now, that's a simple way of making some simple edits to a shape. But there are other things that Photop will allow you to do. For example, go over here um, and on the layers panel where you've got the picture of your shape, you've got the name of your shape, if you click away from those things on the layer, double click there, you will get this little layers panel pop up and you can do all sorts of cool fancy things in here. For example, you can click on drop shadow and it adds a shadow effect to your shape. If you're not happy with the style of that shadow, double click on it and you can then do things like change the angle of your shadow, the distance, the spread, the size, have a little play. Oh, that looks awful. Um, have a little play about with your um, options in there. There's something called a bevel and emboss. So I'll click on that and it creates like a 3D effect. If you're not happy with the particular style of that bevel, double click on it and you can change things like the depth, make it smaller, make the size a bit less, make it softer. Play around with these um, options. Don't see this as being a really complex looking um, toolbar play with it okay you'll learn by playing there's other things to do in here as well so you've got gradients you can stick a gradient on there and you can play about with the cut different types of gradients there's lots of things you can do i want you to play 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 okay final thing to do in this layers panel you can actually set up a really nice sort of effect with your shape and maybe you want to apply that to other shapes in your project well then you before you press ok click on define new it says style is added and where it's added it's added to this little drop down menu so there's the style the custom style that i've just made then press ok all right then when you draw a new shape you can double click on it again in the layers panel go to your drop down menu and click on that style that you've just defined press ok once and there you have it, I've got two exactly the same shapes. Right, that's a rectangle. You can do exactly the same thing with an ellipse, which is a circle. Um, again, you can do simple edits up here in this part, or you can do more complicated edits in this part. Okay, press okay. Then you have uh, lines, which does a similar thing. Again, you can change the fill, the stroke, and you can edit it. But then you also have these parametric shapes. So a parametric shape, Before click on it, but before you draw on the um, canvas, up here you can change it from a star to a polygon, to an arrow, to a spiral. You can change the length of that spiral. I'm going to make it a star and I'm going to have 10 sided star. Press OK. And then when I drag it on, I now have a 10 sided star. Again, you can click back on the shape tool down here and it allow you to go up to the simple edit options or you can go over to the layers panel, double click on it, and go into these a bit more complicated but cooler options. They are, they are cooler guys, I can't get away from it. They might look a bit more complicated, but they're cooler. So, you, you know, have a play, have a learn, learn how to use them, okay? Final one in the shapes is the custom shapes. So click on it. Before you drag on, look up here to this bit where it says shape. Click in there. I searched for arrows on my last search, but if I just search for nothing, you can see that there's loads of custom shapes that you can use. Oh, look, there's like a little um, plane. I'd love to go on a plane now. Go somewhere nice. <clears throat> so there we have it. I'm going to get rid of the stroke on that one. I don't think we need a stroke. So it's just blue. I could go into there, put a little bit of a bevel and emboss on that one. Press OK. So it's dead easy. I want you to play. Play with these shapes. Have fun with them. Learn. How, how to use all the little parameters because they are cool and they'll make your projects look amazing. They're like, oh, look at you with a bevel. It's amazing. Have a go. Right, everybody. Have fun.